Sometimes when you are preparing a document, essay or report, it is necessary to insert a screenshot images or copy some text from, for example, articles received in image formats. Uh, in this screencast, I would like to demonstrate a tiny utility from Abby, which uh, can easily solve this problem. This utility name is Abby Screenshot Reader, and it has really simple interface. There are only three options to play with. At first step, it is necessary to select the way program will capture an image. Secondly, if there is uh, a text on this image and you want program to recognize it, you may select uh, the language of this text uh, or you may let the program auto select this language for you. And finally, you have to define what to do with capture text uh, or image. Now let's play a little bit with this utility. Imagine that you are writing a report and you would like uh, to insert a screenshot of uh, an application window. Let it be Google Chrome window, just an, as an example. And uh, in order to do so, uh, we have to select uh, window as uh, a captured area. Uh, we do not touch uh, language settings because we don't want to recognize uh, any text on this uh, image. And finally, we have to define where to send captured image. And here, since uh, we want uh, to paste it into Microsoft Word later on, I select uh, uh, image to clipboard. Everything is ready and all we have to do just to press capture button and uh, while you are moving your cursor at this point you may see a red frame which indicates uh, what uh, area uh, will be captured. Let's select the whole window and press left uh, mouse button. Okay, we have received message that uh, image is copied to the clipboard and all we have to do now is uh, just press uh, paste and here is our image. Now let's capture an image of the whole screen and save it in a graphic file. To do so it is necessary to change the capture option to screen and as a send destination we select image to file and press capture button. In couple of seconds program offers to give a file name and select one of the most uh, popular graphic file formats. So let's use uh, color JPEG, press save button and our screenshot is ready. Now let's take a look at more interesting features of uh, Abby Screenshot Reader. For instance, you are preparing a bug report and uh, you need to insert a wording of error message. Let's take a look uh, at our error message. Here it is. It's uh, in image format, JPEG. So how Abby Screenshot Reader can be useful in this case. So we select uh, area and uh, as send destination we select uh, text to clipboard. And I press capture button. Now we have to adjust the region. So we need error message. Here it is. And I press capture button. And uh, in couple of seconds I am able just to paste this message into Microsoft Word. As simple as that. It is possible to capture the whole article and send it directly to Microsoft Word. Let's try to do it. So I select area, languages Let's try to choose auto select option and uh, as a send destination text to Microsoft Word. Here I found one article which is uh, saved in JPEG format. So I would like to capture it. I press capture button. Again, select needed area. and I press Capture. Abby Screenshot Reader will automatically open Microsoft Word and copy this article. Here it is. As you could see, Utility automatically defined that the language of this particular article was English. By the way, Abby Screenshot Reader supports uh, more than 180 languages which can be used separately or together. That means that uh, 
Even text from multilingual documents can be captured. And finally, probably one of the most interesting features available in IB Screenshot Reader is that it is possible to make a capture of any table on your screen. A utility will automatically recognize it and opens in Microsoft Excel. So let's take a look how it works. For instance, here I have got an invoice and I would like this table to be opened in Microsoft Excel for further analysis. So I open Abbey Screenshot Reader and as a send destination I choose Table to Microsoft Excel and press Capture button. So now I have to adjust the region and press Capture. And here it is. This is my table available in Microsoft Excel and ready for further analysis or editing. So this was the demonstration of key features and use cases of IB Screenshot Reader and I hope that now if you need to insert some screenshots or capture some text or tables from image files you won't have any problem. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you found this screencast useful.